Your ordinance. Hi. Hmm? Yeah, I don't think they recovered from that. <laughs> You and me both. Do you want to start us off, please? How are, how are you? How are you feeling after that? Shall we start with? Yeah, I think the penalty shootouts I've had a few in my career as a manager, and I definitely prefer them as a player, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's a strange feeling because you're so out of control, but obviously a lot, uh, sorry, a lot was riding on today's outcome. So I thought the players handled the moment brilliantly. Uh, goalkeeper and outfield players who took the penalties and big, big moment in our season. You know, obviously the, the four that scored, but I think in, in particular Elliot Anderson, who's not kicked the ball for months to take that fourth penalty at such a crucial stage. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a worth noting how much I trust him really, because in that moment I was, I was bringing them on the pitch, of course, to take a penalty. He took Louis off um, and uh, put Elliot on because I, I trust him in the big moments. He's technically very good. He's a he's a specialist, really set piece taker, penalty taker, and um, but he hasn't played. He hasn't really trained, although he's he's worked incredibly hard on his rehab and he looks really fit. Um, so I've been really pleased with him. But he's coming in cold, really. Um, so big credit to him for how he took his penalty. And obviously, Martin will get all the plaudits at the end for his penalty save. But he actually made a few good saves in the in the one twenty as well. Then. Yeah, very much so. I think it was a um, combination, really. The two penalty saves are huge for us. But in open play, I thought he. <laughs> He really performed well today and we needed him to because they had a, a few big moments. I thought the, save, the best save he probably made was in the build-up to their goal, which I thought was a magnificent save, tipping it onto the bar. And Unfortunately, they scored the rebound and that was probably the most disappointing thing on the night because we worked so hard to lead. To let them back into the game was a, a bit of a kick at that time. What did you make of the performance as a, as a whole? I thought we got better as it went on. I don't think the first half was particularly good. I thought the second half was better and extra time was our best best spell of the game by a long way and really we shouldn't have allowed it to go to penalties with the chances we missed in extra time. Chris and then Dominic. Eddie, you mentioned those chances but you got there in the end. I mean, the, the sudden games seem to have really had a bit of momentum in this season. Do you think this can inject similar? Yeah, we hope so. I mean, I think today was always going to be a tough game. We know nothing was going to be given to us and especially with Blackburn's defensive solidity, they packed the back line, they packed midfield. Um, and we probably frustrated it a little bit with our quality wasn't uh, at its very best level. Um, the crowd were good for Blackburn, I thought. It was real old-fashioned cup tie, so um, it did give us momentum, the FA Cup, and we're desperate for that ment momentum to still be there. I think there was probably a slight hangover from the Arsenal game early in the match, um, but hopefully now that's totally gone. You said that you feel sort of out of control as a manager during a penalty shooter. What sort of emotions do you have, A, during it, and then B, after it once, once more? Well, you just have to let it go, really. You just have to watch. You're, you're almost like a spectator. And that's that's where, like in the game, in the normal game, you, 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 I feel I'm involved. I can help. I can shout stuff. I can make substitutions. But in a, in a shootout, your sort of players are away and you've got no control whatsoever. So um, that's where you're in the hands of their quality. And I thought we did, uh, took some really good penalties tonight. And just one on Sven, not, not within the squad. Just yeah, just rested today. We we feel Sven would benefit more from training than uh, being involved today. Dominic and then Luke. Other well, than obviously the big positives around the result, Mark the Brad has performed. Do you think you feel you improved on compared to? I thought genuinely our attitude was much better today. We were fighting. We were um, giving everything. We weren't perfect in our performance, but we were. Our spirit was there. And our spirit's been there since I've been here, I think, bar, bar two games. And it has to be there in every game. So we spoke honestly after the Arsenal game. As I say, our performance probably, uh, there was a hangover. I did feel there was a, a bit of a hangover, whether that be a little dent in our confidence, but hopefully that will be back after this game. Was it ever touch and go that Mark de Burke would stop? Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, it wasn't clear. He was uh, nowhere near fit for the weekend uh, against Arsenal. So he uh, he hasn't been 100% for a, quite a long period of time. He's been playing um, or feeling slightly um, ill. And, uh, and he deserves huge credit for doing that. Luke, in every cup run, there's probably a moment where defeat is there. You're close enough to feel it and, and, and all the consequences it brings. 
How how nervous were you? <laughs> in the second half and in the penalty shootout. That's quite a negative spin on it. How nervous. I, I, I don't look at it like that. I can't. The players can't look at me and go, look at, you know, he's he's gone. You know, you, you, you lead and you, and you try and um, instill belief that you can achieve whatever objectives you've set out to. And that, that that's always been my management style. I, I'm, I don't look at fear or worry or what the consequences. You just have to stay in the moment and you have to give your players the best opportunity to win and then you deal with it afterwards whatever happens so um, that's always been my style Have you seen a better save in a penalty shootout than that's a Bradford one at full stretch finger tips on the post Is that the second one? The second one Yeah the second one yeah um, yeah I'd need to see it again but yeah I mean I thought Martin in, as I said in the penalty shootout and in open play was magnificent for us today Thank you. Scott and then Martin It's um, I think we've touched on this before already but it's another. It's a game where you've been able actually to turn to your bench, and the players who have come on have made a massive difference for you. And I know we kind of ran this home repeatedly all season, but that has been a factor, hasn't it? There are times when the bench you've had in other games probably wouldn't have got you that tonight. Yeah, I agree. I don't. I don't that's not lost on me. It's never been lost on me. You need, you need the tools to to win games. And now without our bench today, even without Elliot, you know, Elliot was a late decision really to go well let, let's take him with us and if we need to use him we can use him but I, don't, I wouldn't want to use him for more than 10 minutes so even having him available and for me I was always going to trust him with a penalty and who knows the importance of him yeah. being available and that's just runs through the squad I was able to take Joe Willock off today early because I had quality players to bring on and to look after him and Alex is crucial because we need them both to stay fit. And they're, they're both getting their fitness and their sharpness in games, which isn't ideal, but, you know, that's uh, that's where we've been all season. Thanks, Scott. Martin Hardy? Eddie, is this a sliding doors moment in your season and even for you personally, just what's happened today? <laughs> I don't know about for me personally. I, I can't overanalyze things. I'm just, as I said earlier, doing the job to my best of my ability. Um, I'll always do that for every second that I'm here. Um, for the season, we don't know what, what the future holds. All it does do, it keeps us in a competition that we're desperate to do well in. And with the carrot also of Wembley, um, you know, one more win and that, that would be a, a brilliant thing for us as well. So um, there's a lot to look forward to if we can hopefully get a good draw and look forward to the next round. And did you see the players in the dressing room afterwards? Did you have time to see what their, what their reaction was? Very pleased, yeah, that they, they understand the importance of this. I think they're desperate themselves to... Achieved. No one's underestimating the importance of the FA Cup to us internally. Absolutely not. The players were very, very happy. And how great is that? We'll never get back to win. Yeah, I think as I said to you the other day, um, watching the Carabao Cup final was sort of bittersweet for me because um, looking at the game, feeling we should have possibly been there after what happened at the end of the Chelsea game, and another shootout this time that went against us, and then thinking back to the year before and. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, experiences that we want to go through again. Lee Ryder to finish. Obviously, tension, I guess, after the Arsenal game. Did you use some of that to fuel your team tonight? Yes. Yeah, I always try and use not fake motivation, but I always try and use the things that I feel myself to help motivate the players. So definitely, there was a lot of mixed feelings after Arsenal. Um, that I felt I needed to to get across to the players in no uncertain terms that we we have to do a better job of re representing ourselves than we did in that game. Our identity wasn't clear uh, in the Arsenal match, but I thought tonight, as I said, we weren't uh, fantastic in our performance, but the spirit was there, the determination there, the fight was there um, that was missing against Arsenal. When, when you're talking about we're not sure what the future holds and people sort of playing for the future I mean is there anything we can read in between the lines on that well what what we what we focus on there I don't know what you mean well you, you said there that you, you don't know what the future holds are you talking about your own future are you talking about the squad's future are you talking about no I was talking about the FA Cup that sliding doors moment I don't know what's going to happen you know whether um, you know what that win will lead to but Hopefully, it's uh, further progression and an unbelievable experience at the end of it. And just finally, when Man City got took over, the, the FA Cup was their first trophy, was their first step to to bigger and better things. I mean, you're praying that that can be the 
case for Newcastle and you're right at the centre of that. Yeah, I mean, that's our our target this year, of course, is the FA Cup and to finish as high as we can in the league. Uh, of course, tonight's pivotal in, in that moment. OK, thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.